Hi, thanks for watching Parks in Your Pocket. My name is Dave and on this channel, mainly what I do is I go around and do big and tall reviews for amusement park rides. And there are several amusement park rides at Universal Studios in particular and several other parks that I haven't made videos about uh, that I just can't fit on. So this weight loss challenge series is all about me trying to lose weight to be able to fit on more rides. And what I'm doing is I am um, basically putting together every, you know, a little bit of video every single day uh, of my 30 days of Keto Chow Challenge. Okay, so what Keto Chow is, is it's a meal replacement shake that it makes it really simple to uh, stay on a ketogenic diet. Okay, and a ketogenic diet basically means that you get most of your uh, nutrients from fat instead of protein or carbohydrate, okay? And what this does, just to try and bring everybody up to speed, uh, what will happen is your body will kind of go into a, a state of ketosis, which basically means fat burning. So if you eat at a calorie deficit, eventually you burn up all the calories that you've eaten and you start to burn the, the fat that's on your body. Um, so what getting into ketosis does is it basically starts you at the point where you're burning fat because the majority of the calories that you're eating in any given day is fat. So if you were wondering what Keto Chow is or, you know, I didn't explain it well enough, uh, that's kind of the gist of it. These are meal replacement shakes that are mainly getting, giving me calories from fat so that my body builds up all the enzymes and everything it needs to be able to process that fat. And then it's really easy for it to just say, oh, here's some more fat on your belly. I'm going to, I'm going to make you run off that since I don't have any more calories to burn from the foods you've eaten. So that's what ketosis is. That's what keto is. And that's what uh, Keto Chow does to, to make things simple. Okay. Usually you would have to double check all your carbs and if you eat too many carbs, you kick yourself out of ketosis and it doesn't take much to, to just go over that, over that hump. So uh, keeping it as simple and keeping, it, keeping on track as well as I can is definitely very helpful for me. So how was my day? It is, it is the evening of day uh, seven so this is Wednesday and uh, it's it's been a day around four o'clock this afternoon um, Jill called me in a panic and she had uh, been in a car accident uh, she is fine okay the car may or may not be fine I don't know yet uh, so that has has had me very stressed out today um, but I'm just happy that she is okay uh, everybody in the other car was fine everybody's fine the cars looked unhappy though so hmm. she's going to be using my car because uh, she just started uh, a new job and it was like her second day <laughs> And so, unfortunately, a, a car accident kind of is are the things that happen in life. And as stressed out as I am um, from that, it it definitely kind of made me think, oh wow, you know, I I just want to, you know, I want to take her out and make her feel better, um, and get her get her some some of her favorite food to try and, and try and you know soften the blow. Um, and then I, I was like, wow, that's, hmm, I don't know how to feel about that. I know I, I know I want to, to make her feel better, but I don't know that I want to take her out to eat and get, you know, unhealthy food to try and make her feel better when something bad has happened. Uh, so, so we, we didn't. Um, I, I came home and I, uh, I had my shake. But I'm, I'm kind of conflicted about it because I wanted to try and make her feel better and I don't feel like there's a lot that I can do uh, right now. So I'm just kind of letting her rest. She's a little sore. And um, we'll see how everything goes tomorrow. All right, well, it's the end of day eight. Uh, so far, so good. Uh, I was definitely wanting a little bit of snacking today, though, just because um, I was kind of stressed out. But, um, so I went, I went to 
get the car taken care of because of Jill's accident and uh, went to the impound and got everything signed over with the insurance company. So we're going to see uh, if they'll be able to fix it or whether it'll have to be totaled out. I don't, uh, it's just another thing to have to deal with. So we're kind of sharing my car back and forth, so I don't know if I'll be able to go to the parks any this week. So mm, it would be kind of awkward for me to take the car and just sit in the parks all day with it. So I, I would have to like Uber or something over there. Um, but yeah, kind of stressful time right now. The big and tall ride reviews that I've been making, uh, that I shot last weekend, are going to be coming out uh, every Sunday until uh, until they're all they're all gone. I'll probably go and shoot some more videos as soon as I have a dedicated vehicle again, um, and then uh, we'll see. So, but as far as the keto chow goes, I'm I'm keeping on keeping on, and uh, everything's going well. You know, I'm not sick of it yet. So that's that's a really good sign. <laughs> These are the kind of the thankless things that a teacher husband gets to do is put up uh, put up the backings of bulletin boards. I said thank you. She said thank you. She also grumbled a little bit, but it is it has been a very stressful week. So right now my goal is I just put this all this uh, galaxy kind of stuff on this. My goal is to take this train wreck over here on the wall and move it and make a train wreck on this instead of over on the wall so that she can get prepared for her. Uh, her kids to come in and make an even bigger train wreck because a school is just kind of a rolling train wreck I think. All right I am done moving that train wreck. I've put some high letters on the wall so uh, got got some stuff done but a whole bunch more stuff to do but then uh, gonna head home after that. They're gonna kick us out of here fairly soon because we're here on a Saturday so then go home and, and work on some stuff. Okay, so it's a little later tonight. It's about 10.30 right now. About an hour and a half ago, I found one kind of downside to doing, uh, to eating keto chow. If you don't pre-prepare it, it doesn't taste as good, so you want to prepare it and kind of have one ready to go and let it sit there for a few hours so everything kind of absorbs into the keto chow. So, Unfortunately, tonight when I got hungry, because I was washing all my all my blender bottles and everything, I didn't have one ready to go. So, I got to be hungry for a while. Uh, I still haven't still haven't eaten yet, but um, yeah. So that wasn't that wasn't great, not having one just ready to go. Earlier today, since I threw all my blender bottles, all my large blender bottles, into the dishwasher, I. I took one of my smaller blender bottles that I had when I was, you know, just just starting. I got a, a discount on them, and I like the larger ones better. But I took one of the smaller ones and made keto chow in that, and it was a lot thicker. It was a lot more like a regular milkshake, and I don't know if I like that more or not. So you can put less water in it, and it becomes more kind of thick and and like a milkshake, which is not bad. It just felt a little bit too sweet for me and I wasn't able to kind of stretch it out as much as I would like to. I kind of prefer to kind of nurse it for a little while longer than that one let me. So I, I just kind of drank it really fast and I was like, oh, it's over. Hmm. That is, you have more hair than I do. So it's our anniversary. We're on our way to go do something really awesome and, and intense. What, what are we doing? Painting. We're painting pottery for our 12th anniversary because I didn't want to do anything. It's green. Okay. Well. I didn't want to do anything really super, super intense today because it's really hot. So we're going to go, we're going to paint some stuff and uh, we're going to, we're going to have a little competition to see whose is prettier. No, no, it's probably, it's probably no, going to be, you can't do that. Probably going to be you mine. Um, you won awards for your art. Okay, I challenged young minds and tried uh, to figure out my abstract art. Yeah, it's, it's interpretive. Not the same. Interpretive design That's on not her the part. Same. So, we're gonna do this. All right, so we're here in uh, Claremont. Yes. I think oh, it's I, I think it's Claremont. There she is. Uh, there's kind of this 
the shopping center here. It's it's kind of Deadsville right now because it's just about it's to rain. Sunday. It's Sunday. And cloudy, yeah. And it's, and it's about to rain. So there are a few interesting shops here. We're probably going to hit a couple of them. We want to get some coffee, and we found a nice little interesting coffee shop. And we're going to head there first before we go and paint. I don't know why I do this. I don't know. I don't know why you do that either. <laughs> it's neck problems. True. Or brain damage. True. Oh. Okay. <laughs> The Cat Cafe. Axe some coffee. So we stopped here by the Cat Cafe and they uh, they want an $8 donation to be able to get in and spend an hour with the cats but unfortunately we don't actually have an hour to spend because yeah. we have to get to the paint but place before it closes. I can tell you because I've been here a couple of times, not the cat place, but the coffee place. Um, you get an hour, but um, there's volunteers and they, all the cats in there are adoptable. So you're looking for a cat and you want to come play with the cat. On vacation. Well, not everyone's up. It's true. <laughs> but like if you're a local person. If you, if you want whatever. to get a cat and put it but in your suitcase. It is a great cause is what I'm saying. Yeah. So. so you can get $8 if you just need to relax and you just need to Take it. Oh, bit, get get, get out of the hustle and bustle of, of vacation. You can come to this yes, place. And get coffee next door. This is a creme brulee blended. It is amazing. You can come to this place and, and get coffee and sit and pet a cat on your lap and just kind of relax and, and get out of the high tension kind of environment that Disney and Universal and all the tourist trappy kind of places will give yeah, you around here. So. It's fun. It's cute. And it's a good cause. So. All right. To painting. Okay, so I'm going to be painting a really complex piece here. It's a cup, it's a coffee cup, <laughs> about my size. It's a pretty good size coffee cup to have here. So It's a big and tall cup. A big and tall cup. <laughs> yeah, I need coffee. Uh, what are you painting? I'm gonna make this. You, you. Okay, so she's making a seashell bucket that leaks. No, a whole it's bunch not of a holes in it. No, it's for like a candle. Oh, it's, uh, a, oh, it's a candle holder. And it's gonna probably go in the bathroom. A or candle the holder that'll burn off parts. No, oh my gosh, don't put that. <laughs> So we just got done with our painting our pottery train racks together. Oh, maybe. So for our anniversary, since I'm on a weird diet, we're trying not to do things that kind of revolve around food and trying to get out and do other things. So we just painted some pottery. I painted a mug and... I guess I was a candle, like a seashell candle holder thing. Yeah, we got some footage, but we have to wait for like a, a week for them to... Oh yeah, they're going to fire it or whatever. Yeah, to fire it so that it'll look nice and we'll show you that when we uh, when we get them back. Hopefully it looks nice. Hopefully not a train wreck. Hopefully. <laughs> Alright, so Jill decided that she wanted to go out to eat oh. uh, tonight. So I drank my shake before we left. And I can't believe this on me. Okay. Well, because well, I'm not eating. I already ate. So we're, we're out celebrating our anniversary. She wanted to go somewhere really fancy and I didn't want to go anywhere fancy. So I won and we're going to Olive Garden. <laughs> I did not want to go somewhere fancy. Okay, so we're at Olive Garden. I'm trying not to talk extremely loud, but um, I'm, I'm not eating. So this will be a little weird, but I was looking at the menu to see that if I was trying to do keto here, if it was even possible. Uh, the last time I was at Olive Garden, it wasn't because everything has uh, has bread in it. 
but now they have like zoodles and stuff, um, which I mean, I, I think it might be possible, but it's it's kind of rough. So they, they do have zoodles on the menu now, but um, yeah, zoodles and then giant cake. That'll make it easy to die. Steak in there. And so and apparently, they, apparently they also have steak and, and salmon in the uh, in the menu as well. So I don't know, but I'm not eating. But we're we're just going out to celebrate our anniversary. Yay! Yeah, we're trying something. We're trying it. I mean, I just had my shake before we came, so I'm pretty I'm full right now. So I don't actually need to eat. But we're going to see how this goes with uh, tempting bready carby goodness. That Jill's eating and me just sitting here drinking like water or Diet Coke or something. This won't be awkward. This is fine. This is fine. She's, she's not awkward. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I talked with Jill a little bit about how weird it was for her to be eating and for me not to be eating. She said that if, I, if she didn't know what was going on, it would have been extremely weird. Okay. But due to the fact that she knew what I was doing, I was doing the keto chow diet, she understood and was going to, you know, it was totally fine. But it was a little weird because I was sitting there, like, talking, and, and she, was, she was trying to eat, and I kept talking. And usually when, uh, when we go to dinner together, we are eating at the same time. So uh, the big takeaway for me was basically I was bored. I wasn't necessarily hungry. I wasn't like, ooh, I want those breadsticks right now. Get in my belly. I was more, uh, I, I, you know, I just wanted to leave more than anything, I think. Um, but I did enjoy, you know, spending time with Jill. We, we, we painted the stuff today and we're going to be getting that back in like a week. Um, and if you if you wanted to visit that shop, you can actually go there if you're on vacation. And when they're when the pieces are done that you've painted, they can be mailed to you. Uh, they they do shipping. It's it's common for people to be at Disney and go there just to have a little bit more of a low key day. So we had a good time. Uh, I'm glad that we didn't go to the parks or anything because it is the middle of the summer. It's August and it's really really busy uh, this time of year, especially on the weekends. So I, I try and avoid the, the Disney parks in, in early August because everybody wants to get out there and get uh, get into the parks right before school starts back up. But it's, it's really hot here in August, so it's also also another thing. <laughs> we, can, we can suck in some air conditioning. But dinner was, dinner was interesting, but it was still a very good day. Um, and I've been able to stick to the keto chow only diet which is, it's getting easier. I'm not having any cravings, so I'm able to drive past Chipotle now and, and not to cry. Because <laughs> I, I really do love Chipotle, but at this point, I feel like, I, I, this was day 10 or 11, and I feel like at this point, everything's kind of reset, and my cravings have reset, and I'm to the point where I I'm looking at food as fuel and not as something I desire that I'm addicted to. So that's a that's a really good place for me to be. I don't think that I would have gotten to this point if I was just like, I'm going to eat less. Um, because at my size, it's very easy for you to lose the scale of a portion. Okay, So in my hand, a pop can is like tiny. I mean, come on, that, that, I need like three of those for it to look like a normal human being holding a pop can. <laughs> or I need like a 40, I can use a 40 pop can. Um, and when you, when you have a very big difference between the scale of something and the amount of calories it has, um, you overdo it. It's like, personally, I'm a big guy, but I don't need that many more calories than a normal sized person. So I eat what looks like twice as much food, but it's actually probably more like three or four times as much food. Just in my head, it seems like it's proportionately the same amount that other people are getting. So, but for me to be able to do the math ahead of time and just not worry about it, and know that I'm getting the right number of calories, it's a lot easier than if I was just like, well, I'll just have a little bit of salad. 
and try and hold back and fight the fight the desire to eat the food. You know, it's like if I was just having a little bit of salad, I'd be like, oh, I'll have a breadstick too. Uh, I only had one breadstick, I can have another one. So the cold turkey kind of, now I'm drinking the meal replacement shakes and sticking to it, definitely has made it easier at this point. It is, I don't think that if I was on a regular diet, I would have been able to go to Olive Garden and just sit there and not be hungry and not, and, and not cheat, and not like eat, you know, eat breadsticks and soup. I would have gotten that and been like, oh, this is, this is a healthy meal. It's soup and breadsticks. But I would have eaten like four bowls of soup and 12 breadsticks, so. All right, so I felt like changing it up. Get outside, get a little bit of fresh air. I'm sitting out here on the patio. It's a little stormy right now. The, uh, the dogs might bark at the, at the storm, but it looks to be missing us. So I'm out here trying to enjoy a little bit of the cold front coming through. Uh, Jill has my car and I have kind of been on house arrest a little bit here uh, just because we're waiting for the insurance to come back on about her car which is probably going to be totaled um, judging from what the auto shop auto body shop told me so yeah I'm here it's been a stressful week uh, the car crash and the anniversary meal not the most fun experiences, but I got through it. I've been sticking to it, and I think from thinking about how I've been able to stick to it, because I don't have the best willpower. I'm not, I'm not a very like you know, strong willpower kind of person. But due to the fact that this is kind of a binary thing, it's either all in or or all out for me. So. It's day 12 and I'm down 19 pounds and that's mainly because uh, I'm able to get everything I need from you know, as, these as meals and I'm not thinking, well, I need to snack. Well, did I eat enough? Well, oh, if I don't, if I don't finish this, it's going to be leftovers and it'll probably get thrown away. I make exactly the right amount of food, so I'm able to just you know, make it and, and that's my meal and I get the right number of calories and it just makes everything very simple for me and it's a lot easier to to not have to deal with any portion controls and everything so that's really what's working for me okay so it is the morning of day 14 so I am two weeks in right now uh, still down 19 pounds didn't change from yesterday but um, yeah, so today is Wednesday, which means I'm going to be releasing this video today and starting another blog for next week. Um, so I'm getting ready to drink my breakfast. If you've watched this video and you're interested in trying Keto Chow, uh, they were nice enough to make me an affiliate since I'm, I'm doing this. And if you want to try Keto Chow, you can actually support the channel if you purchase it using either our affiliate link or our coupon code. So we have a coupon code that'll get you 10% off your first order of, of Keto Chow. And it is parks in your pocket 10, all one word. So if you use that when you check out, you'll get 10% off of your first order. And if you like it, please make sure to use the affiliate code so that you can help support the channel a little bit. Uh, I wanna make sure that anything that supports the channel gives back to the community and makes sure that people get something that's very useful. And I, I definitely believe in Keto Chow. It, it, has, it has really helped me so far. And it helped me before when I lost a lot of weight. So it's, it's still working. It's still good. And I, I definitely recommend it. So I'm going to release this video today and then we'll start another video and see what happens next week. Hopefully, hopefully next week is a little better than this week has been.